and he's a big prospect but Stephen Wilson here and he means business at the Royal Albert Hall left hand there from Calzaghi but some nice left hand work from Stephen Wilson as well big right hook there from Joe and it's ironic that this is a a match of the vacant British championship between a Scotsman and a Welshman and the title given up by an Irishman so a big start there from Calzaghi Referee John Coyle from Wolverhampton. Stephen Wilson managed by Tommy Gilmore. And I think trained by George Borden, although I wouldn't swear to that. Nice left hand work there again for Wilson. Just picking Calzaghi off. And well, a slip there from Stephen Wilson. Well, Kazaki obviously feeling he can get rid of Wilson quite early, putting quite a bit into these initial attacks. through the middle from Wilson and lots of people have uh, criticized Cal Zaghi for not having really fought anyone of great note so this is a chance then for him to shine and I suppose the same could be said for Stephen Wilson although he has won an eliminator for this British Championship he beat Paul Wright from Liverpool on points over ten rounds Well, some nice boxing at the end of the round there from Wilson, but uh, I think overall Calzaghi's nicked the opening round. And of course, we're still on the half-point system in Britain, so ten points to Joe Calzaghi, nine and a half for Stephen Wilson. There you are, Calzaghi, 23 years of age, and a perfect record. Only one man so far went the full route with him. That, of course, was Bobby Joe Edwards, who is, in fact, a cruiserweight. And just that one unfortunate cut eye loss to Nigel Rafferty. Into round two then. This one's scheduled for 12 rounds, of course. And Joe Calzaghi's taking the opener. And the funny thing about Calzaghi here, when he tightens up and tries to look the boxer, he doesn't seem quite as comfortable. Quite as comfortable, that is, as the man who likes to get in there, use his natural flair and uh, tear away approach. When it comes down to pure boxing, I've got a feeling that Wilson will get the better of things. Kazagi, of course, a man who won ABA championships at three different weights in con consecutive years and that a modern record well Kazaki there showing off a wee bit not wound Wilson up though nice double jab there from Wilson then the move round to his own left to prevent uh, Kazaki from countering with that strong left hand of his Wilson, a very experienced amateur, fought in both uh, European and World Championships as both uh, junior and senior, and of course represented Britain at the Barcelona Olympic Games. Right. And that pedigree, pedigree showing here in the second round, getting some nice shots off from a 
Very smart boxing stance. Kawasaki managed by Mickey Duff and Terry Lawless. Zaggy's punching power was actually put into question when he fought one Tyrone Jackson a couple of fights before this. And Jackson took him into the fourth round but took some almighty wallops and just stood there. Well, Kalzaki getting into things a bit towards the end of the second round, but I think it's been a, a pretty fair round so far for the Scotsman. Well, nice left hand from Kalzaki. And Wilson shakes his head. I have to say that didn't bother me. And which is the Kawasaki I prefer, the man with his hands down who, uh, who tends to play a wee bit, but that's a good round, I think, for Stephen Wilson. So a round apiece then. And that's a lovely left cross from Kawasaki just before the finish. And that's a brave cameraman to stand there and take that one. As we come up for round three then. So Stephen Wilson then, the Scotsman, in the blue. Has taken round two to level things up, I think, against Joe Kawasaki, the Welshman. And the first ever British super middleweight champion. Well, I'll tell you after this round, but just see if you can uh, recall the name. Right. This, in fact, is not an old division. Just been around with us for a few years now in Britain. punches might not be looking quite spectacular as they were but uh, they're thumping shots and they and they're landing quite hard and that was another stumble from Wilson punches like that that will uh, chip away at Wilson's resolve nice left hook back from Stephen shot there from Kalzaghi and it's a big moment for both fighters lots and lots at stake here and of course the prospect down the road of some very very exciting fights these are by no means the uh, the highest ranked super middleweights in Britain Well, that's a nice left hand again for Kalzaghi. And Wilson, well, fending him off pretty well in the corner there. But he can't keep him off forever. Oh, and this is thumping punches again from the Welshman. And Kalzaghi always looking for the finish with every punch he throws. And Wilson's taken everything really, really well so far. Interesting round there. One I'm going to give to Kalzaghi. Harder punching. You've given that pay off. 
waking up, fight back, you can go out and fucking do it. For goodness sake, man, come on. So into round four then, and Kalzaki a point up in my card now. After three, I'm just saying that they're not, by no means the highest ranked super middleweights in Britain with the independent world boxing rankings. There's uh, the likes of Nigel Benn, Henry Wharton, and Sam Story above, and just below. People like Mark Delaney and Dean Francis, who of course uh, might come up with a crack against the winner of this particular match. And of course, we always say you can't argue with an unbeaten record, and I suppose that's true to a point. But these two look pretty well matched. Wilson's previous fight coming into this was a point win over Glenn Campbell and uh, there are some people who have disputed that. I can't comment because I didn't see it. And every time Cal Zaghi opens up with the uh, heavier punches. I think Stephen, it's fair to say that Wilson does uh, tend to go into a shell a wee bit. That's why you heard his trainer say, don't give this title away, fight back. Of course, it's so easy to say, but uh, when faced with the kind of power that Kalzaki obviously possesses, it can be very, very intimidating. And he's a pretty quick puncher as well as Joe. And that's a big left hand again from Kalzaghi. And I've also got a feeling that Steve Wilson well, I think he's more of a natural light heavyweight rather than a super middle, so he'll have boiled down to this 12 stone limit. 75 kilograms. So some pretty nice boxing and pretty hefty punching. Again from Kalzaghi here in round four. And there's not, in fact, there's the bell to end it. Another good round there for Joe Kalzaghi, I thought. <laughs> 39 and a half, 38 and a half on my card to Kalzaghi. Bit of replay here then from round four. Joe Kalzaghi subbing in a couple of hard left crosses. Kalzaghi ranked 25 by the IWBR. And Wilson at 63. So round five then. The vacant British Super Middleweight Championship. Oh, lovely thumping left hand there from Kalzaghi to start this fifth round. And as I asked previously, who was Britain's first ever super middleweight champion? Of course, the answer was Sam Storey, the man who gave up this title. In fact, his second reign gave up this championship to fight for the European. Well, Stephen Wilson now getting forced around this ring. I'm just trying to think of a way, in, in fact, in which he can avoid it. That's one way. Stand your ground and bang in the right hand. Of course, he needs to move to his own left to try and negate that strong backhand left of Calzaghi's. And I think Stephen's going the wrong way most of the time.
And of course, Kawasaki is such a talented fighter, and I've always spoken very highly of him, regardless of uh, his detractors. And I, mean, I imagine that both men are exceptionally nervous as well going into this fight. Their futures on the line. Well, that's what I call natural flair. Three or four nagging jabs there. Then the left cross from Kalzaghi. Nice uppercut there from Wilson. A Wilson turned pro almost immediately after the Olympic Games in 1992. And uh, Kalzaki about a year later. saying wake up Stephen <laughs> it's not illegal to throw your right hand well it's as I say it's a lot easier said than done as we come up for round six in this uh, scheduled 12 rounder and Stephen Wilson really does need a good round here I've got him three behind at this stage and he needs some success that's another thing about Calzaghi he can hit you from the outside he also can hit you from the inside a lot of fighters get on the inside and they do very little but uh, Calzaghi is not one of those but to be honest with you Wilson's tried to match him for that and again those nagging jabs from Calzaghi then a big one oh. Kawasaki's extra speed of punch is proving decisive here in the sixth round. rubbing together there <laughs> lovely little right cr uh, hook there from Calzaghi Joe Calzaghi looking all together much more comfortable here than Steve Wilson. So another good round. 
ground there for Joe. stage then round seven of this vacant super middleweight championship Joe Calzaghe in the black trunks has got a four round lead I think after six of course it's not my opinion that counts referee John Coyle is the only man who'll score here as once again Calzaghe spears him with the right and the left cross yes yeah, Stephen Wilson signing the hole much more frequently now and I must admit I can't say I blame him Nice right there from Wilson. And uh, Kalazaki's answer to taking a big shot is to give one or two. Again, nice hard punches there from Calzaghe. really the story of this fight Wilson going forward and missing and getting counted heavily by Calzaghe and there looks to be a bit of blood now by the, the right eye of uh, the uh, Scotsman another good round then for Calzaghe And so far, Stephen Wilson's taken it all very manfully, but uh, he's on the losing side at the moment. And still, Wilson desperately needs some a major success here. shot there from Wilson beautiful long right hand there catching Calzaghe on the chin oh a lovely left hand there from Calzaghe well Wilson shaken by those uh, couple of punches And it all looks very hard work now for the Scotsman. A 
once again Kalzaghi thumps in a hook and nags away with a jab well now Kalzaghi having things all his own way here and he's hurting Wilson now Stephen forced to hang on there These punches are getting to Wilson. And the lovely jabs there from Galzaghi. Oh, and again, big shots here from Galzaghi. Wilson driven across the ring again. Well, we can't be far from the finish now, surely. Referee Coyle looking very closely. Well, it's all over now. So referee Coyle then rescues Stephen Wilson as Joe Kalzaghi's father, Enzo, lifts him high. So the new British super middleweight champion named Joe Kalzaghi, there he is, wins in eight rounds. And I'll tell you what, Stephen Wilson stood up exceptionally well to some very heavy punishment for most of the time. After two minutes, 18 seconds of round eight, ladies and gentlemen, with Wilson not in a position to continue, the referee has stopped the contest. The winner and the new super middleweight champion of Great Britain, Joe Calzaghi. And who knows where that championship could take him. Main event to come. Stay with us.